the face serves its face recognition and facial attributes analyze functions as an API as well. DeepFace is expected to be installed as a prerequisite. You can run pip install DeepFace command to install DeepFace on your environment. Then I'm going to clone the source code of the DeepFace framework. And in the command prompt, I'm going to call git clone at the repo address. When the source code is cloned on my environment, I'm going to change the directory deepface and uh, then I'm going to change directory again to API folder and here I'm going to call this api.py python api.py calling api.py builds both face recognition models and facial attribute analyze models it almost uh, lasts one minute four face recognition models are built now it's time to build the facial attribute analyze models and uh, there are four different facial attribute analyze models now the api service is up i can check it by entering this url to my browser and it returns hello world this means that everything is okay i'm going to use postman to call rest services and the sample request files can be found under the uh, deepface folder deepface api and uh, this uh, postman collection it has four different input requests we can apply face recognition firstly and let's see the input content it expects image pair image fan and image to under the image object and uh, image object uh, should be an array and actually i can press a array here and the input content of the image one and the image two uh, should be uh, base 64 images as seen and the input file should be in json format let's call this uh, face recognition single item request and see the uh, logs in the command prompt as then the response is returned image pair uh, is same person because it returned uh, true in the verified object and the distance is the less than the maximum threshold value as then the model is here vgg face i can here pass the model name For example, I can use FaceNet model and let's see the uh, logs here again. In this time, the uh, image pair is same person too. Here, the model is FaceNet and it returns true as well. We can also apply facial attribute analyze. For example, I'm going to call this facial attribute analyze single item request. Uh, let's see the lock here. It finds three is instances uh, facial attribute analyze. For example, the first one uh, is 31 years old, happy uh, Latino woman. The second one is uh, 31 years old, uh, neutral white woman. And the last one is 25 years old, happy and white woman. So we have mentioned how to call deepface framework with its api regular deepface is dependent to python programming language whereas its api is not uh, dependent to python programming language it's totally independent it can be called uh, from any source for example uh, kotlin for android or swift for ios or basic javascript uh, in your browser it's just an api Thank you all for watching and see you next time.